In this video, we are going to now graph uh, a parabola, but it's not going to be centered at the origin. Uh, our vertex is going to be h and k, um, but we have to do some manipulation. So here's what it looks like. Um, and so our first problem that we're going to do is going to be in that form already. Um, and if you were doing uh, a left and right, not up and down, oh, oops. Already got the up and down. So if you're squaring the x, that's going to be an up and down parabola. If you are squaring the y, it's going to be left and right. All right. So um, just like before, if you, the x is being squared, it's up and down. If you're squaring the y, it's going to be um, left and right. Uh, your h and k are going to be where your vertex is. So this is your left and right shift. This is your up and down. This is your left and right. This is your up and down shift. This is your left and right. So whatever on the y's affect the y's, whatever's on the x affects the x's. And then we still got to figure out the p because the p is going to be our distance away from our focal point and our directrix. So there, there are formulas and all that stuff, but I typically don't memorize that because it's just too much. I can just kind of put it all together and build as we go. All right. So if I understand where all the pieces mean, I can build and, and figure out what my vertex is and my axis of symmetry as I build my picture. All right. So... All right, here's our first example, and our first example is um, already in this form. So since it's x being squared, we're looking at an up and down kind of a look. So a normal-ish parabola. Um, and then we have to figure out some details to this. So our h and k is our vertex is going to be basically directly focused off of this. So it's going to be left to and up one because it's anytime we're in the parentheses like this it's going to be opposite on both of them which that idea is different and new so we're going to go left two and we're going to go up one so that is our folk or that is our vertex so left two up one all right so now we need the p value and remember that this is your 4p piece here 16. so we just take 4p set it equal to 16 solve for p so we divide by 4 and p equals 4. p being positive means we're going in an upward direction so we're going to go one two three four okay so our focal point is again maybe it's some formula i don't really need to try to figure that out i'm just going to count so we were two to the left and then one two three four five so negative 2, 5. And then to try to build the rest of this graph, remember that this distance, whatever this distance is, it's going to be twice that in either direction. So since this is 4, we're going to go out 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is the basic shape of our parabola. All right, and then so we have our focal point, which we already wrote. Our uh, directrix is going to be in the other direction, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be right there. And the equation for that is y equals negative three. All right, and then our axis of symmetry is this line passing right through the middle. So that is a vertical equation. So we're looking at that equation being um, x equals negative 2 is what it crosses. And that is our directrix. The standard form, it was already in standard form. So we'll just write it. It was already ready to graph. We just have to pull the pieces from it. Okay. Um, so that one was already in standard form. Our next equation we're going to do is going to not be in standard form. Um, so we'll have to manipulate it to turn it into this, so then we can pull all the information out. And we'll do that, do that on the next video.